Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mills, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you 10 best apps to learn Portuguese in 2024. This entails vocabulary, listening practice, and so much more. Language learning apps gives you easy access to Portuguese learning experiences. You can pull them out in those otherwise lost moments when you're in line or on the bus. But which apps are the best? Well, the best apps to learn Portuguese will be different for different people. But these are the ones that truly stand out in my test and should be considered for a place in any Portuguese learner's pocket. I also got them in their best features and who they'll be most suited for. So this video is going to give you 10 best Portuguese apps out there right now. Number one, best all-in-one app, Busu. It is available for iOS and Android. For the pricing, it has a free limited access, but if you want to be more advanced or get more advanced material, then you have to pay for the premium version. Busu has a cheerful interface that's meant to keep you coming back for continual improvement. The app focuses on 150 important basic topics and you advance through a variety of levels. Fortunately, there is some interactive functionality included in this app. You can submit practice exercises and get messages from native Brazilians and Portuguese people who will contact you and give you response for your work. Number two. Burst Immersive app Fluent You. It's available for iOS and Android. You have paid subscription, but you have a free trial available. So Fluent You uses real media made by and for Portuguese speakers, paired with learning tools to help you understand everything that's been said. Consuming native materials will help you make progress in the language, but this can be hard to find and often involves unfamiliar accent, fast speech, and slang. To solve this problem, the Fluent U program comes with a curated video library as well as interactive subtitles, downloadable transcript, multimedia flashcards, and other handy features. When watching a video, you can hover over any word to see an in-content definition, image, and grammar notes. A tap will give you example sentences, audio pronunciation, and other video clips that feature them. Alternatively, FluentU also functions as a video dictionary that can show you all the information above when you search for a specific term. You can even test your new vocabulary knowledge with fluent use flashcard practice and personalized quizzes that challenges all language skills, including speaking. Three, best flashcard app, Anki. Anki is available for iOS and Android. For the pricing, it is free for web and Android and a one-time fee for those using iOS. There is something lovely and useful about their tactile feel of flashcards. But I gave them up long ago for this app. Anki's two key advantages over flashcards are that you can save video and you can record a language partner or a teacher and it's easier to keep with you so you likely practice more often. There are dozens of user submitted Portuguese decks available covering common phrases and verb conjugations but I strongly urge you to make your own. You can make them on the computer and synchronize them with your smartphone or just make them in the app itself. As with paper, the act of thinking about what you want to remember, then actually making the card often gets you halfway towards memorization by itself. Number four, best app for busy learners, Duolingo. Duolingo is available for iOS and Android. For the pricing, it is free, but if you want the premium version, you're going to pay for that. Duolingo can be a very good way to build vocabulary, especially when used alongside other learning techniques or other learning methods. Once you determine your Portuguese level, 
you can take on units that are designed around different themes such as education and work. The full course is not on grammar but rather on learning nouns, adjectives, verbs and tenses that will allow you to communicate around the given topic. Exercises include voice recording, listening to a sentence and then reading it out loud yourself, translation of phrases, matching photos to words, rearranging words to form sentences and answering multiple choice questions. This app is designed to be cheerful and the sections are short so you can always fit in a quick session during any brief spare moment when i just started learning portuguese this was the very first app that i downloaded on my phone i was so excited when i just started because i was a beginner then but what happened was I got fed up with Duolingo because then every part that you finish is going to have like a gold block, right? Duolingo wants you to use the app every day. Start up with five minutes. It has to be five minutes, five minutes, five minutes or more. If you do less than five minutes or you skip a day without using the app, all the other blocks that have been built is, is going to break down. So every time you come again after a long while, you have to start again all over or start off to build of the block so that really discouraged me but it's a good app for beginners number five best app for listening and speaking pimsleur pimsleur is available for ios and android for the pricing you have paid subscription where there's a free trial available this app puts emphasis on listening and speaking skills with an audio-based Portuguese course. Each Pimps Learn lesson is 30 minutes long and they cover a variety of useful topics in order to expose you to what real Portuguese conversations should sound like. Interactive activities help you work on pronunciation and speaking confidence. Pimps Learn also uses the version of their space repetition system to help you learn and remember essential words and phrases. Though it doesn't offer much in terms of explicit grammar instructions reading practice or writing skills this app aims to get you having successful conversations in portuguese in this way it's a good supplement to language tools that focus on the previously mentioned skills number six best app for reading practice read lab for the pricing it has free limited access but you can pay for the premium subscription this immersive tool allows you to read text in portuguese and get instant seamless translations by clicking on any word or groups of words that you don't know when you are done reading read lab remembers the words you checked and includes as flashcards for you to practice afterwards your original content. Reading materials is entirely up to you. No Read Lag offers an integrated library that features an interesting collection of public text. You can also upload your own text if they are in plain text or a bit format. Convert them from free using to Calibre. Although Read Lag doesn't have dedicated apps, it's designed with smartphones and tablets in mind. The development has provided instructions for iOS devices and Android devices so that you can still use ReadLag exactly like a proper app. Number seven, best app for beginners, Babbel. So Babbel is available for iOS and Android. The pricing, you have paid subscription. So this is not free. This app combines visual, auditory, and interactive elements to teach users Portuguese. Babbel claims to support a variety of levels, though materials for intermediate learners and above is limited. The focus on real-life conversations and practical vocabulary is ideal for beginners however one of the pros of this app in my own opinion is the grammar and language use tips while you wouldn't get full-blown grammar lessons they often offer helpful information that many apps don't Babbel also builds up previous lessons as you advance through the apps program you continue to see words and phrases you learned previously in order to keep them fresh in your mind while the primary focus is on language skills the app also integrates cultural insight and related contextual vocabulary Number eight, the best app for intermediate learners, Close Master. Close Master is available for iOS and Android. It has a free limited access for the pricing, but then a paid premium subscription. Among a plethora of Portuguese resources led towards beginners, Close Master is a deus ex machina 
for intermediate and advanced learners. It has an interactive, glimified approach to reinforcing your vocabulary in content by going through sentences and filling in the missing words, which are gloves. These sentences are extracted from film and TV subtitles provided by Tatuoba, which ensures great variety as far as dialects and vocabularies with a great dose of authenticity as far as phrasing. Gloss Master has over 100 language pairings. I mean native language to target language. And, and the Portuguese from English paired comes with a whooping 94,000 plus sentences to play with. Number nine, the best dictionary app, Word Reference. So Word Reference is available for iOS and Android. This is actually free. Any serious Portuguese learner should have a good dictionary. If you're going to choose just one Portuguese dictionary app, I recommend this one. The most interesting feature to me is the English Portuguese forum, which is an option at the bottom of any lookup you make in the app. There, you can ask about both dignified Portuguese that has somehow escaped dictionary editors' attentions, as well as the course neologism that they don't design to acknowledge. The app can also conjugate any Portuguese verb and gives you sometimes useful links to Google image searches at the bottom of every entry that you make. Number 10, best app for travelers, Mosa Lingua. It's available for iOS and Android. The pricing, you have a paid subscription, but there's a free trial available. If you're more of the traveling type as opposed to super serious toddlers, this is likely the best app for you. Select what type of Portuguese words and phrases you want to learn, maybe for travel, for work, passing a language exam, etc. Then Mosa Lingua will teach you the language you need mostly with flashcard exercises. There are multiple ways to study each flashcard and Mosa Lingua uses space repetition like a few of the other apps. So even in more advanced level, you will be reminded of what to learn earlier on. Mosa Lingua started as a flashcard app and though it's still the main focus, you can now also find dialogues and reading activities as well as conjugations, explanations, grammar lessons and pronunciation practice. Even if you have no immediate travel plans, this app can help you advance your Portuguese skills and it can do so with their hands-free mode. If you have got even one of these apps in your pocket, I'm confident that you will be on a quick route to better your Portuguese. If you find this video interesting, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, share, and please, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit on the bell notification so that you get updated every time I upload a new video. In that same line, ciao!